Hmm. Notice me, APR Senpai. Hmm. Well, APR hasn't seen me yet, but I'm going to go top off my drink and then I'll begin. Still no APR? Oh, well. Oh, there it is. All right, well then. Greetings, Internet. It is 2.08 p.m. on uh, Monday, October 25th, 2021. Welcome to A Molding Corpse. I'm your host, Mark Amsray, DJ Amstrak, and today I'm going to be continuing uh, The Walking Dead, Season 1. We are on Episode 3 now. Uh, things got pretty grim last time. Cannibalism happened. Bit early for cannibalism, considering all the other uh, viable food sources those people had. But they just jumped straight to butchering people. It's, uh, oof. Desperation does things to people. So, where, 
where to go. There it is. All right. And of course, oh, that's the wrong overlay. Derp, derp, derp. Okay, turn off alien isolation, turn on the walking dead. There we go. And of course, the lights must go out. For it is spooky time. Previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! Kenny! What the fuck?! Sounds like a car. There's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandit's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Uh, game? There we go. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. Made up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon. I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. We should go. Motel's run its course, and it's not safe. Well, if that's what you think, you should probably fucking speak up. Lily's dug in. Just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit. You okay? The ladders come loose. 
I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Huh. There's no safe way through that mess. Blocked by all the fallen concrete. Huh. 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 They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Hmm. <laughs> Kenny, come on. Ah, uh, shit. Damn it. I can't reach. <sighs> Sorry, pal. All right, stay put. Remy. There's no safe way through that mess. like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. We better get a move on. Blocked by all the fallen concrete. Huh. Huh. What else is there to do? Still can't reach? Not while you're standing there. There's no safe way through that mess. Huh. Uh huh. Hmm. Looks like it still works. Lily's not doing so good, huh? It's not good. I'm worried. No shit. There's a lot to be worried about. She's gonna snap. Girl still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? I haven't asked. You even talk to that girl anymore?
Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. What'd he say? He wanted to know if Herschel's son somehow made it. Pretty sure he knows he didn't. Don't worry. You made out like a hero in his eyes. It's not like that. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Shit! Jesus. Are you okay? No, Dick, I'm shot. Now get off here. Do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something. Ah! Oh, Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her. Buying us time. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. but we ain't got much time. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. didn't you?
You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone and come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We have to go eventually, Lily. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. So... You two are, uh, having a disagreement? Cool it, Doug. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable any- We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's gotta be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. We got plenty of food from that station wagon. Yeah, no thanks to you. You didn't even want to take it. Where the hell would we be now? We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. What do you mean? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She was making enough noise that we would have had plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. He what? He put her out of her misery. Stupid. I couldn't let her suffer. We're all suffering. Some more than others. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on Earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right. Stealing, and I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. Happy, Kenny? My family's alive and that RV is running. You goddamn right I am. Everyone is under great stress. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Uh, rough day, I guess. Yep, I've just been calling them days lately. I don't know what it is, but it's probably worth talking to Lily about things going missing. Ever since her dad died, she's been a live wire. And now, if she's paranoid, that's a bad mix. <laughs> hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay.
Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. I'll talk to you later. Hey, Doug. Hiya. What are you working on? I'm just trying to focus on the wall. Anything I'd like to contribute needs batteries or tools I just don't have. I'm tearing down this furniture to patch up the wall. If we go on like this, we'll have half the Travelier piled up out here before we know it. The wall's important. I guess. I feel worthless on watch because I'm not wild about guns, and I just wish I was more helpful. Do you feel safe here? Hmm. Safety's always been a bit of an elusive thing for me. I mean at the motel, as opposed to finding somewhere new. I think if we can get whoever's out there to leave us alone, this is a good place to be. And you know, they sort of stopped attacking. Maybe they forgot about us. What do you think about Lily? Dark. I don't know. I guess I'm sad. Nobody deserves to lose their parent like that. You don't think that would make her delusional, do you? I think it could make you anything. Nothing good. I'll catch you later, Doug. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? You feel useful to the group? What? Useful? Yeah, how's your spirits? I'm fine. I'm helping, right? For sure, Ben. Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh. I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. It's Lily's room. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. 
Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. Paranoia isn't gonna help us. I know what this sounds like, but I'm not paranoid. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Seems like you're manufacturing this from nothing. Prove me wrong. I'd really appreciate it. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah, good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Hey, Doug. Hiya. Do you know anything about this flashlight? Well, I can tell Ooh, you- Wait, 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 wait. I know you know everything about this flashlight. I'm asking if you know how it got busted. Lily found it in the dumpster. Oh, no. No, I don't. I'll keep my eye out for some suitable parts, though. That'll give me something useful to do. I'll catch you later, Doug. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. A flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay then. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Hi, guys. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. I'll talk to you later. What do you think about Doug? He's cool. Cool? He knows things. You don't think he seems down? Like sad? Yeah. Everyone is. You? I'm okay. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow? Did you do that? Yes. 
I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. I love her. <laughs> Some broken glass on the ground there. Hmm. There's something drawn there. Doc. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Definitely weird. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst, Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. Too. See, I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck, you did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. Those bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. There's a grate down there. It's a bag of something. Son of a bitch. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Yo, man, got our people out there! Out we ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking indoors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall them. What? 
Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! <sighs> Shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta! That's why! We can split the supplies, spread them around. Or we could just kill you and take it all! And, and, and what about when they run out? When you don't have us out there collecting them for you? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up or I'll... Christ! Oh shit! Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm sorry. Calm down. We need to figure out why this happened. Nobody died. We're okay, right? Katya, you're okay? We just lost everything. But we have our health. Cat's head is split open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Ben, I think we need to talk. Whoa, what? Lily, let's think about this logically, no? Logically? 
the new guy who could have easily been a plant? I think that's pretty logical, Doug. You think I'd do anything to hurt you guys? Don't play dumb. Were you hoping they'd eventually kill us all and you could join them? Why Ben? What makes you think it was him? He's always so eager to see what supplies we found. He came into this crew a stranger from the woods. It's pretty cut and dry to me. I came into this crew as a stranger. So you're saying you did it? Nobody did anything! I know I don't get wrapped up in the politics around here, but we really need to think before we start stringing somebody up. Doug, I appreciate your concern, but we have all the evidence we need. You have evidence? No, not here, but Lee found the meds. We found an entire signaling system. Doug's right. Let's just get on down the road. We can talk this out like adults. Why give someone who almost killed us the opportunity? Lee, you know what we found. Just let me out of the car. I'll go. I didn't do it, but I'll go. Good. That sounds great. Lily, look at him. I... Fuck. Jesus, I didn't. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. I... Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. All right, well, we can deal with this now, then. Kenny, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just kick you out. We should hear what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. Please, look, it wasn't me. Please stop accusing me. I'm really sorry you're upset, Ben. Just tell us you did it. No! Ah, this dumb fuck walker. You okay over there? Yeah, yeah. Son of a bitch. Ben, you have no other options here. Leave him alone. I think you both are protesting a bit much. I'm not doing this. Come on, Lee. You're the one who found them. You can't just abstain. Fuck all that. This is nuts. We're out here on the side of the road. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll I'll do watches for months. Ha, the hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything. Stop panicking. Seriously, Ben. You need to stop and just take a breath. Do we need any more evidence than this? Evidence or not, this isn't any way to treat one of us. I've heard enough out of you, okay, Doug? Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Ben, you have until Kenny kills that walker to tell me it was you. No! Ben! Lily! Lily, lay off. I can't, Lee. You know I Please can't. Please stop. Please don't kick me out of the group. We won't. Tell me. Now! Please, let's just get back in That's the That's not RV. happening. I can't handle this. There. I got him. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Ben! No! from the windows. Jesus Christ! Get in! We're leaving this crazy bitch! I didn't mean to. It wasn't supposed to be him. What are we gonna do with her? You're not coming with us. I'll die out here. I don't care. You're a murderer, Lily! We can't have you with us! I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time! What are you talking about? He didn't tell you? He killed someone before all of this. He was a convicted murderer. Is that true, Lee? Yes. Fucking hell. Were you ever gonna get around to telling me that? 
You got a little girl with you. To hell with it. Get in, Lee. Let's go, you guys. I don't have anything left. Lee, a word, please? What's up? Is Duck feeling all right? What's the plan? We've never had a bite victim in a group before. I'm going to yeah. keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Not that you've ever afforded us that type of luxury. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Duck is bitten. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I... don't feel good. What about Doug? There was no time for a burial. Walkers? Yeah. Horrible. treehouse that day and thought about dropping a hammer on your head. Uh, that's nice. I didn't, though. Thanks. something up ahead. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clint, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. 
It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? That would cross my mind. Doors closed. That's one hell of a mess. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit. Think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. A clipboard. A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kinney's got us headed. Looks unopened. Might be something inside. Switch. Might be something inside. That'll crack a scroll just fine. Oh, I can only have one at a time. We got one. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. <laughs> Suppose we ought to look him over. Yeah. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. 
This hoss will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. Put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. I can't believe it. Just have to figure out how to get it started. I'm sure we can figure it out. How tough could it be? Doug would have known, but we'll figure it out. That's the spirit. Man, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. It's a bunch of papers. A bunch of maps about Georgia's cities. Nothing about the train. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kinda see the indentations from the writing. Oops. Hey, Kent. What's up? I don't know about leaving Lily back there. Abandoning someone on the side of the road. It's the same as murder. Don't worry about it. We just would have had to deal with her eventually. You want to talk about Duck? I'm really sorry, Kitty. Nobody deserves this. There's nothing to talk about. You heard Cat. He could be fine. We probably shouldn't ignore them. Nobody's ignoring nothing. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. God, we need some help getting this train going. People take notes, right, when working on stuff like this? Uh, we're smart guys. We can figure it out. I'll get back to it. Me too. Pencil. Sharpen, too. I know what to do with that. found a notebook that we think might have had some starter directions on it, but the page is missing. Well, I'm sure you guys will figure it out. How's that? I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Would you have left Lily back there? On the side of the road like that? Yes, Lee. Yeah? We have to have lines. Yes, I would have left her. Okay, then. Has Clementine said anything to you about Doug or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. No. That little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor dog. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. You were standing right there. Are you doing okay? I was. It was awful. One of the worst things I've seen yet. I'm sorry you and... Oh my God, Clementine had to see that. I liked him very much. 
He'd spent some time in Belgium. Where your family's from. Yes. Even further away now. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. Is Ken all right? What is he doing? He's put his mind to figuring out the train. What about you? Same thing, sort of. I found some instructions, but I can't read them. Oh. Well, I'm sure someone can help you. There's a notepad on the train. Do you have any pencils or anything in your pack? No, I wish. Maybe in the RV. What do you need it for? There used to be something written on the notepad that I need to know about. Well, if you're not using it, I'd take it. I'm out of paper, and there's all sorts of new leaves around here. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Six. Down, down. Up, up. Up, down, up. Let's start with that. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Okay, five. Uh, looks like left and down. Now we're talking. Nine. That way, then that way, okay. But, uh, nine is out here. Enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. seen anything out here? No sign of whatever lives in the train. Keep it down. I don't want you scaring the kids. I better get back to it. Hey, sweet pea. You okay out here? I don't think Duck feels good.
It's all yours. That's the throttle. Damn it! Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck? Get us unstuck? Yeah. Hey, Kenny, we're loose! <coughs> you touch any of my stuff? Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab. Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. <clears throat> Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. What's your game, man? Keep him alive. That's not bad. I like it. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on the... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. 
I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. I better get back to it. <coughs> How you doing, Bill? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? Hey, sweet pea. That candy Chuck gave you. The taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. And find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Kent. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get them? No. Ah, living got them. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? If you get that off his face. My hands are full here. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please.
going to need you, Kenny. Duck will be fine. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. This isn't about Doug. It's not about my son dying. What the hell do you know? You're not my friend! I don't hate you. You sure as shit haven't done anything for me. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid. Bad thing happened to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Stop the train, man. Boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. What do you need? I. I. Gotcha. It's time to. Oh, this is not possible. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if. What if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Kat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean... Jesus, this is our son. I know, but we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. God, you fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. You can't. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. Stay with me. Your son loves you, and you should remember him as the silly boy we used to have. Not this. I can't. Lee, be with him. What's happening? Duck is dying. I know. What is Katya doing? She's putting him out of his misery. Things are... No. God! This will never happen to you. You 
don't know that. Yes, I do. I'm gonna go get her. She's probably a mess. Ben, get Clementine on the train, all right? And keep your eyes open. So scared that I'm going to hear a second gun shot. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Don't make me do this. clicked. What? Hey, how you doing? I don't care what reasons you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We do what's best for Clementine. 
Oh, well then, you do have it all figured out. Never mind. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job, but too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past... Oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. I shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Be safe up here. You betcha. It's full of maps and documents. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kitty? Can you just leave me alone? be good to get to the water. You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Can. It's the best plan. Hey. Yeah? Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land. Once we get to Savannah? I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure... Cat... would be, uh... okay with you. So forget it. Okay. You mind if I... Look in there for a second. I really wish you'd just leave me alone. Get out of here. Hey, Ben. Hey. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. Are you gonna be able to step up? I can do just as much as anyone else. Good. I hope that's true. Doug saved your life, you know. I know, I know. I don't know if I can go on like this, man. Well, you're gonna. That's just the way it is. See you. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Chuck has some booze left. I hope 
hope we're not on this train much longer. He's lived here a while. There's some scissors in Chuck's bag. They look clean enough. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, I'm gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I like that. Good. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? Squeeze the trigger. Steadily, okay? Don't give it a quick yank or pull. Steady. I can do that. Every time. It'll be tough, but just remember to do that. You'll hit what you're aiming at. Okay. I'm ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Shot. Aim more to the right. Close. Now keep it steady. There you go. Nice. You did. Good job. I squeezed the trigger, just like you said. I know. You did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. hurt and my ears have noise in them like you'll get used to it so you're probably not gonna like this oh no what happened nothing we have to talk about your hair it's not safe that's not nice what 
Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does, kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? How hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. Shush now. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. do it now to protect yourself and to protect me I was sent to jail did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't all the time okay I think I'm about done I can probably tear these pieces back with something here I have some hair thingies you do uh, yeah Lily gave them to me for sleeping there all set Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. I'm sorry about your hair. I think it looks cute, though. My mom isn't going to like it. What a crappy day. The crappiest. If three months ago I'd known what you'd be seeing, I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You're damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. I need to look around for a few things that'll make sure we're prepared when we get to Savannah. That would be good. I hope it's safe there. God, me too. the whiskey. Well, the girl can shoot. It doesn't have to be pretty. Probably will be, before too long. Be safe up here. You betcha. I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Nah, I'm fine. Suit yourself. Anybody in there want to share a drink, you let them know. Will do. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. Hey, Ben. Hey. 
See you. Yeah. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. Jesus, Ben. I know. They said they had my friend. That he was with just, them. Just stop. Fuck. Can we even trust you? Yes. Why'd you have to go and tell me that? I just... No. Just don't tell anybody. You can't take any of it back, so don't. Okay. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay. Well, if they're not, what happened to them? I'm sure they're okay. Yeah, it's best to stay positive. That's what Dad always says. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. And we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... M... M... something... Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know... Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far... Oh, shit! Hold on, everybody! out Ooh. Oh, that's dangerous. Fuck, 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 fuck. Maybe we could walk. That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm. I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This? Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. If I come up there, 
You better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Hey, I'm not gonna bullshit you. Our group is a little fucked right now. We had a bite victim, then his mom took her life, and before that, just... It's okay. Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I, uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. A train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road, alone. We'd appreciate the help. We can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Folks probably had their way with that van a while ago. That's about the only useful thing in here. Empty. That's what I figured. But this thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Whatever government work was going on here didn't seem to help. It's empty. Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan or what? Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, me? What? Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, it's been a bit of a day. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, kid? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. More big shit to move. I'm glad someone's managed to keep the spirit. Got a clear view up there? 
Yeah, we're good for a ways. Thank God. We need someone, anyone, to come along and, and exterminate them or something. Get used to them. I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon. Well, their numbers keep going up. And ours. I'm telling you, Lee, if they ever get a hold of me, and I know I'm not getting out of it, that's it, man. I'm just gonna punch my own ticket. Punch your own ticket? Yeah. Take myself out. Don't be dramatic. And don't let them get a hold of you. What, I can't go and check out the station? You interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. Hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something to her. Oh, I understand. Where are you from? San Francisco. Jeez, a long way from home. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? Wonderful. You two will be thick as thieves. What were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. If you're gonna be around for a while, be good to know what baggage you got. Then maybe we won't be around for a while. No, it's in that direction. Maybe I should check out that train station. When Kenny said back that way, I thought he meant we just passed it. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Somebody must have been pretty desperate. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. I can't see in there. Doesn't look like that thing's worked in years. to find a way in.
Hmm. That paint has been dry for months. Windows open up there. Maybe I could look in. Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. <clears throat> okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. Well, I'll be damned. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. There's gotta be something useful in here. It's locked up good, but there's some space at the top. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. Locked up good. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Behind you! Okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Keys, now! Fuck, it's 
still locked. so good no it did not go so good but we're okay everything's okay what's going on i thought i heard a gunshot we're fine we found some walkers you and an eight-year-old versus three of them huh It was stupid. You think? What do you want me to say? I'm trying to teach her how to take care of herself. We're getting used to working together. I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. Me too. For her sake. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. They didn't have much business back then. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. No, Clem. We learned that everything we will ever do is dangerous. We'll get better, smarter, and faster, okay? Okay. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. Think this will work? Dude. Cutting metal with fire. How could it not? There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. I got this blowtorch. Shit. What's that? The hose has a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Hope this holds. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. It's too far off the edge.
Hi, girls. Hey. about done too crap fire that thing up here the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach you think it'll be within mine <laughs> no but i'm gonna dangle you over that ledge the hell you are god you're a real son of a bitch aren't you shut up and start cutting Oh, dear. Guys! There's something coming! What the what? There must be thousands. We gotta go! Fuck! Omi! Cut! Cut! I am! It's going! Pull me up! This works. Holy crap! We gotta jump! What? No way! Guys! Jump! No! Jump, damn it! Still no! Fine! Next stop, the Atlantic. We're finding Clementine's parents when we get there. I thought they were dead. Looking for them then. That's not the plan. Well, it's ours. She and I talked it through. It's gotten too bad, you know. You. Me? Nobody could take all this. What we have? What we're supposed to do isn't clear anymore. I'd give anything to go back to fighting over the motel. <sighs> Me too. 
I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. That fucking thing was broken. So did I. Who the fuck was that? If he's convinced Clementine that he has her parents, y'all might want to rethink your plan. Shit. We're almost at the river. You want to get on a boat? You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? I know I promised that we'd find your parents. But Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you! You understand? I will kill you! Oof. That episode certainly didn't uh, pull any punches. Not that any of them have so far, but oof. Yeah, I think I'm as 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 much as I want to know that uh, the answer to that mystery that it left us on. I I think I'm sticking to my plan of. Uh, one episode per stream. I don't think I can take another gut punch like that should it come to it. Another series of gut punches, rather. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I will I'll be back on Wednesday with the next episode of that. Excuse me. Let's see if there's anybody around for us to move on to. Yeah, sure, why not? Juniper's streaming. Playing Dark Souls. Let's go see how she's doing.
So, uh, yeah, thanks again. Hope to see you on Wednesday or some other stream. Later, everybody.